for today's video, I wanted to bring you 10 simple things that you can do to make yourself over at home. And you can follow all 10 of these, you could follow none of these. These are just some quick tips and suggestions to really kind of give yourself a makeover and kind of break out of your shell, try something new, and just to get a little bit of zest into your daily routine. And this video was inspired by Allure Magazine. As uh, some of you know, I had the amazing chance to do makeup makeovers with Allure, and honestly, like, that was so life-changing for me. And honestly, through that experience, I learned that makeovers are more than just about being beautiful or making someone look pretty, but they're about helping someone find a light and inner confidence within themselves so that whether they have makeup on or whether they have their hair done or whether they don't, they feel glowing and confident and amazing knowing that they can look the way that they want to um, and knowing that they have this inner light and inner glow. And you know, it really, it hit me so emotionally just because we were doing more than just makeovers, that it was, you know, makeup, hair, photo shoot, but it was also kind of like counseling, not only for them, but for me, because it's like we've gone through so many of the same things, but it's like we've just known each other's stories, and it was just great to come together. Also, Allure is currently doing the Beauty Blogger Awards, which I am so honored to be a judge for, and the competition that I am judging is the Revlon Makeover Challenge. So there are a ton of talented bloggers and vloggers who are on Allure's website giving makeovers to other people in their lives um, and it's really amazing to see the befores and afters so this video is inspired by that contest basically we don't always have someone else who can make us over so when you want a little extra boost and you want to step out of your shell it's totally game to do something at home I will link the first link to the Beauty Blogger Award Challenge. Um, go check it out. Feel free. It's amazing. I've honestly learned so many tips and tricks myself. Um, and also, Allura is giving away prizes. So just by voting for your favorite blogger or vlogger, you automatically are entered to win prizes, free stuff, giveaways, all sorts of fun things. But anyway, so without any further blabbing, these are 10 different things that you can do to step out of your box and, and give yourself a makeover at home. First thing comes before any makeup or any hair or any outfit start, and it is a fun, relaxing bath. This is a bath bomb from Lush Cosmetics, and honestly, Lush Cosmetics is like a party in your bathtub. If you want to bathe in a glitter explosion, if you want to have a magical tropical experience and snap, crackle, pop in your bathtub, Lush is the place to go. They have so many amazing bath products that are not only good for your body and you know good for your skin but they're fun to use and relaxing is a huge part of making yourself over because even if you look good on the outside it's about the inside if you don't feel good if you're not relaxed if you're not happy and confident then you're not gonna look good on the outside so this is a great way to harness inner beauty by relaxing yourself take a bath put your feet up and while you're at it why not put on a face mask this is the Givenchy Black for Light Mask, and I have been using this for months upon months now. It is honestly one of my favorite, and again, kind of like the Lush Bath Bombs, it can be kind of like glitter for your face. This is perfect for any skin type to correct, to decrease um, scarring or hyperpigmentation, anything like that, And because honestly, when it does come to applying makeup and foundation, the cleaner and the clearer your skin is underneath, the easier that foundation is going to apply. Um, so if you're like me and you have acne, of course you do want to treat it. Um, but this is a great way to do so and also this is just a suggestion you can also use targeted treatments for instance if you're looking for a great mask this is one I would recommend but if you have specific acne this is a drugstore one that is from yes Two, and it's for clear skin um, this price point is a little bit higher this one is a drugstore um, but they have masks for anti-aging for wrinkles for pigmentation which is kind of what this is for acne which is what this is um, but just find a face mask that you really like that works for you next when it comes to feeling good from being relaxed and having mental clarity. Another thing I would recommend is juicing. Whether you do a juice cleanse or whether you just add juice to your diet, juice is concentrated nutrients directly from pressed fruits and vegetables. Um, this is one that I drank, obviously. This is from Blueprint Cleanse, which I've done full juice cleanses many times, as well as just added these as like a supplement to my regular meals. And honestly, this makes you glow from the inside out. I have so much energy, I feel healthy, and this is a great way to really clean out the inside of you and make the inside Side, look and feel as beautiful as you want to on the outside. When it does start getting into cosmetics, it is a crime not to prime. Whether you wear foundation or whether you don't, this is one product that I think is amazing for everyone, and this is the Benefits Professional Primer. And the reason that I love this is because if you use it under makeup, it does make your makeup last all day, it makes you look glowing and fresh. 
It really helps bring down acne bumps or any scarring that you might have or any unevenness. It just makes your foundation go on so smoothly. But even if you have a kind of person who doesn't wear foundation and doesn't want to, still try adding this to your skin to give yourself a mini makeover. It's honestly such a smoothing formula that if you have any discoloration and any sort of unevenness, it almost like smooths it out and like puts a blur on it. This is like an Instagram filter for your face in real life. Um, honestly, I'm obsessed with it, but whether you wear foundation or whether you don't, try out a really good primer like this just to kind of give yourself an amazing natural glow. Next, when it comes to makeup, you should also try contouring and highlighting. If you're already used to contouring and highlighting, then try something out of the box like a cream contour or a cream highlighter. You can apply this under or over foundation, but it's a really amazing way to kind of try something new. You're really enhancing the facial features that you already have and bringing them out. And especially if you're not used to using cream, step out of your box a little bit. Try something new and start playing around with your hands. And if you're someone who doesn't want to work with cream or doesn't like cream or hasn't really played with contour in general, and I would definitely recommend a powder contour and a powder contour and highlighter. Um, these are a ton of fun and like I said they really just bring out your natural facial structure and contour alone is like a makeover in itself. So this one is from Hourglass and then this one is from NARS Cosmetics. They're two of my absolute favorites um, and this one like I said is a cream base and this is a powder base depending on what you like. Next one of my biggest tips for making over your eyes every single day is colored mascara and you're probably thinking Cassandra you're freaking freaking crazy. Colored mascara on my eyelids lashes. Let me tell you, if you do not have time in the morning or if you're just trying to give yourself a makeover, a brand new look, these will make your eyes glisten, sparkle, and pop. I would recommend a purple or a blue because dark purples and dark blues are really the two colors that look amazing on hazel, brown, green, blue, um, even kind of yellowish or brownish tinted eyes. These honestly will bring out in the color in your eyes like nothing else. And when you have these on, people don't look at you and be like, oh, you're wearing colored mascara. They look at you and they say, oh my God, her eyes glisten and glow. And these will definitely do that for you. This is one from Yves Saint Laurent. This is a purple mascara that is absolutely stunning. And then this next one is a drugstore. And this one is from NYX Cosmetics. And this one is a vibrant kind of cobalt teal blue. And like I said, you just apply these close to your eyes and, and it just brings out those natural colors. And whether you do this with other steps or whether you do this just alone, um, this, little, this is definitely a makeover in itself. Another good thing you can try to do for your eyes is try out a liner. If you're not used to using a liner, try experimenting with a little line by your lashes, maybe a little winged liner or a cat eye. This is one from Smashbox that I love and it's a big felt tip pen so it's kind of like coloring and it makes applying liquid liner super, super easy. And if you are used to applying liquid liner then go a little bit out of your box and try either a bright pop of color or even a little bit of glitter. These are two different things that if you already wear liquid liner will totally add a bit of pizzazz and if you don't wear liquid liner already like I said try for a black it really enhances your eyes gives you a new look and really gives you kind of drama and edge. Um, but if you are looking for a color, Victoria's Secret has some great ones that are at a really low under $10 price point. And if you're looking for some super fun glitter, Urban Decay has a huge array of glitter eyeliners that are great to just add a bit of sparkle and pop. Another thing you can do to step out of your comfort zone or to go a little bit off the edge is a new lip color. And a new lip color, kind of like everything else, can give you so much zest and pizzazz and, and really just kind of change the way you take on the world. Go for a lip color that you don't always do. If you do neutrals, go for something really bold. If you go for something really bold, go for something really dark. If you go for something really dark, go for something really nude. Um, the three that I have here are absolutely amazing, and the other reason that I chose these not regular lipsticks is because these apply so smoothly. These are kind of like just kind of like big coloring pencils, so they glide onto your lips super easy. And these three in particular are also moisturizing. So whether you have naturally plump lips or whether they're dry and in need of a little bit moisture, these three will work. Um, the first one is a low price point under $10 from Neutrogena. This is number 70 in Perfect Plum, a super nice deep color for a little bit out of the box edge. Um, this next color is a beautiful, beautiful orange from Clinique and it is called number 12 oversized orange for a nice coral pop. And this very last one is from Marabella, which is one of my absolute favorites, is this bright zesty pink to really give your pout um, 
something to talk about. How about that? I'm rhyming. <laughs> Outside of makeup, something you can do is work around with your hair. Both of these options are completely temporary, but why not experiment with some hair extensions or some hair color? These are Galici Glam Hair Extensions by Lily Galici, um, and honestly, hair extensions are a great way to try out a fun new look without committing to a new haircut or anything. You can honestly just clip these in and kind of style them the way you want and have a whole new do for a day or for however long you decide to keep them in. And because there is no commitment, it's great because you can totally take on a new persona. If you're not into hair extensions, you can definitely try a little bit of hair color. These are hair chocks. These are from Jcat Beauty, and these are the perfect things to add a little bit of spice to your life. This is in a purple and this is in a blue, uh, but this literally goes on your hair. You can just kind of rub it in like chalk and it comes out the next time you shower. So again, no commitment, but a super fun way to spice things up. If you're really not feeling too excited about color extensions on your hair, try a little bit of teasing if you don't already. Um, big hairspray can do so much for your hair. So try a new do, try a new updo, try teasing, but just use an extra firm hold hairspray to make sure that your look stays in place and you can rock it all day long. This one is by Mitch Stone Essentials. It keeps everything set in stone um, and I love to use it with my extensions or just on my hair naturally. The very last but definitely not least tip is to wear a fragrance or a perfume. Marilyn Monroe was kind of famous for spraying herself with perfume every single night before she went to bed and when people would ask her like Marilyn why would you do that she would say you know it's not because she's going out to show the world how good she smells it's because it's for her and a fragrance is honestly a great way to put a bit of pep in your step for some reason, fragrances just invigorate you. They can totally change your mood, whether you like florals or something edgy or something dark and sandalwood or something citrusy or something sweet. It's really the finishing touch to making yourself over. This is one by Ralph Lauren that I would personally recommend. It is a very fresh scent, and I usually always go for floral, so this is something a little bit out of my box. And if you're someone who does not like perfume or you don't like the spray or sprays irritate you, try something like a scented deodorant. It's not always as effective as a perfume, but if you're someone who's really objecting to wearing perfume, this is a great place to start. Uh, this is one from Secret, and it is the scent Hawaii. Secret has a bunch of fun scents that are like tropical and things, and this is honestly one that breaks out of my shell because I'm not a super citrusy person, but this honestly smells amazing, and for me, I'm not used to wearing citrus, so I can apply this and get a little burst of scent every now and then, um, and it does give me a bit of pep in my step. So guys, those are just 10 different things you can do to make yourself over at home, um, because we don't always have someone who is willing to make us over for ourselves every day. But again, making you or anyone else over is more than just about beauty, it's about confidence, it's about having fun, and it's about learning to love yourself. So I hope that you guys loved this video. If you have any questions or requests, please feel free to check the bottom tab. Um, and like I said, the first link will be to Allura's Beauty Blogger Awards. So if you're interested, go check out the blog posts from the contestants. Vote for your favorite one, and you're automatically entered to win prizes and giveaways and all sorts of fun stuff. So I love you guys, and I cannot wait to see you all in the next video. <laughs> love you guys. Bye. Makeup tutorial. My entire face is a problem area.